Good day, Gemini. This is Soul from Intuitive Tarot here to look at your week ahead starting uh, December 2nd, 2024. I hope you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving. You didn't eat too much. And if you are were able to get out to do some shopping on Black Friday, <laughs> lucky you because traffic was crazy around here. Trying to get to the uh, premium outlet mall that is so famous and popular in my area. All right, so um, this week I'm using the uh, Winter Weight Tarot deck to deliver your um, messages, Gemini. There are double energies here, so of course you know if you receive any of the two, it's double the source of that energy, right? Also, I did not go ahead and reverse any cards for you, so let's get underway here. Shuffle this deck up pretty good. Messages for my twins. What's coming up for Gemini? Excuse me. All right, Gemini, we're going to start with the first card in its energy. We're going to start with the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is the card of gift giving and charity, bro. Well, um, good time in the season, right, for this card to show up. So you could still be, you know, receiving a gift from someone or you could be giving someone else a gift. It could be, you know, related to purchasing Christmas gifts for family members or friends. You still could be getting a small pay raise. Well, it would be actually a small pay raise. It would be a medium pay, uh, pay raise. And then also, too, the uh, Six of Pentacles could be where you receive some sort of apology for uh, someone who may have slighted you in the recent past. Okay, that's the Six of Pentacles. We're going to start off with that. Up next one, we have the Empress, the Major Arcana. This is a card of beauty. This is a card that represents growth, development, expansion in some sort of area. It also uh, relates to uh, pregnancy news, childbirth, taking care of yourself this week, uh, Gemini, internally, externally. You could be going to the hairdressers, nail salon, Pedicure appointments, all of that. Knowing your, you know, what your value is, what it uh, means to you, your worth, having some sort of peace. Uh, I represent uh, the Empress card as far as, you know, like Mother Nature. So some of you could be just spending some time outdoors enjoying Mother Nature and God's beauty. Nothing wrong with that. Very beautiful card to receive. Also, um, the Empress represents all relationships. So loving yourself. Uh, knowing your value, your worth, what it means to yourself, not only to yourself, but to others, okay? And all that energy may come to you from others as well. Following the major arcana of the Empress, now we have the major arcana of the moon. So things becoming revealed, illuminated for you. What was once hidden from you now comes to the light. Also, to pay attention to your intuition this week, uh, Gemini, for some of you, it may be very important. Always trust your gut. And those inner voices that you hear, those are your own personal energies trying to uh, grab your attention so that you are going to make the right decisions and choices for yourself moving forward. The moon also represents a cycle of energy ending and a new cycle about to begin. Also, making sure that the moon, uh, when it comes to your emotional state this week, that you're balancing that energy out because this moon has a tendency to, you know, throw those emotions up real high, throw them down real low. We just want to strike a middle, strike a balance in the middle. I'm sorry. Okay, so that's the major arcana of the moon. Likes and crushes come forward. If any other cards support this moon's energy. Up next now we, oh, yep, yeah, we have the king of cups. There we go. The father of all love, nurturing, caring, and supportive. Very intuitive, just like the moon, but the moon has higher precedence over the intuition aspect, but still pay attention to your intuition. This represents male energies. Of course, it could be the Gemini male that comes along and sees the video. Um, it also could be your father, your husband, your brother, your uncle, grandfather. Uh, good loving, nurturing type of energy. And when you receive the King of Cups in your spread, it just means that, you know, based on those connections that you do have currently... Um, whether it's family members, friends, romantic partners or whatever, that you're receiving some sort of, um, you know, emotional happiness, contentment, satisfaction. The king has the tendency to also unite partnerships, platonic as well as romantic. 
All right, so there we go with the uh, King of Cups, Father of Love. Then we have the Ace of Pentacles. This is the card of, I would regard this as abundance though. You know, it's an offering, but it could be a job offer. It definitely could be a contract offer. It could be a startup of a business. Aces always start things off. Could be the beginning of, you know, Gemini seeing their financial situation turn around for the better. This is always, you know, related to a source of uh, unlimited earning potential. So there's no cap on what you can earn as far as the Ace of Pentacles is concerned. It's going to sit on top of that King of Cups. Next up is the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is, well, you're drawing some energy towards you. Okay. An immediate uh, attraction, I always say. So it could be that. Um, the Knight of Wands could be a family member, romantic partner, or friend who usually comes in to assist you, to help you. They come in to, um, you know, assist you right away as quickly as they can. And then they normally exit as fast as they can. But the presence of the Knight of Wands in your spread could indicate especially because it's coming up yeah coming up after that king of cups could very well indicate um how fast a new relationship could take shape or form that could be romantic or platonic so you know the knight of wands is still you know a passionate uh energy uh intense energy things are building up and he can express himself in a sexual manner as well Following the Knight of Wands here, now we have the Two of Swords, so there's a decision to make here. Again, follow the uh, guides of the Moon and the King of Cups that's in your spread in terms of your intuition. There's some uh, decision that you have to make, narrowing that, you know, that choice down to one Gemini. Feeling like you're at a crossroad, just a little bit of anxiety. Uh, the most minor thing that could come out of this Two of uh, Swords is that you could be out and about traveling, of course, and you could be you know, rerouted or detoured because there's some sort of blockage or, you know, construction going on. Two of Swords. Also, the Two of Swords represents my same-sex loving energies. All right. On top of that, Two of Swords is going to be the Queen of Cups. Now you have the mother of all love, nurturing, caring, supportive. And I can honestly say, <laughs> because the Queen has shown up here, that for some Geminis, in a good way, it's going to be a very emotional week for you. So she represents... Uh, caring, nurturing, very, you know, um, helpful when it comes to your intuition. Uh, you may be the twin or the Gemini that works in the capacity of caregiving and helping others, improving the quality of life for them. She, too, like the King of Cups, can bring in new partnerships, romantic as well as platonic. Female energy, so it could be for the female Geminis that come through to see the video. It could be your mother, your sister, your aunt, your wife your best friend okay now because the court card the king queen of cups is sitting on the two of swords now that might have a um sort of impact on some of you this week in terms of making a, a decision about you know a family member a romantic partner or a friend okay i don't see uh where it would be something uh serious maybe it has something to do with uh, it could be just as you know, simple as purchasing a gift. It mirrors over here to the Six of Pentacles. So it could be, what do I purchase um, for my mother, my girlfriend, and so forth. That kind of energy. All right, nothing serious. Then we have the Five of Swords. This is trying to sort out internal, external energies. It's still really on a minor scale here. I always talk about the Five of Swords where you have to make sure that you're um, you know, people aren't playing head games or mind games with you, Gemini. And also, too, you may possess something that someone is envious of. Okay, Five of Swords. Up next now, we have the Two of Pentacles, where you're juggling two things. Now, it's something, you know, small scale. It still could be a small, you know, pay raise coming in for some of you this week. It also could be that you're working two jobs, got two things going on. Just like I said, it's just really minor energies, just trying to juggle two things, balance something out. Then we have the Nine of Wands, which is one of my busy bees that comes in to give you that energy to do whatever it is that you need to do this week, whether it's scheduled or unscheduled. All right. So the Nine of Wands comes in here to give Gemini some energy to carry out those tasks. Following the Nine of Wands, now we have the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands comes in very fast, just like that Nine of Wands does. Uh, in this case, though, however, this Ace of Wands usually brings in something good. It usually puts a smile on your face, always an element of surprise, 
Um, you could be initiating something, could be starting a new relationship, starting a new job, beginning stages of passion. All right. So something comes through to make Gemini happy this week. Hopefully it's the money or it could be anything, really. Up next now, we have the Major Arcana, the Death card. Uh, always, as I always say, it doesn't physically ever denotes death. It's major life transformation. However, there's something that needs to come to an end. For some of you, it may be, um, you know, in direct correlation with the moon. When the cycle of energy of that moon is ending, something else here needs to come to a close. Only you know what that is, Gemini. I mean, I could spend all day just trying to throw things at you, but, you know, I'm reading for a multiple uh, group of people here. So something needs to come to an end. Something needs to come to a close. And the most simplest thing that I always uh, grab out of this death card is that you could be just getting rid of clutter, clearing spaces, stuff like that. Okay. That's going to be right there. Up next here, on top of that, is this is a no drama week for Gemini. Maybe you had a drama filled week with the holidays last week. Or, you know, I always talk about people don't do well <laughs> during the holidays. So that energy is moving away from you. You're looking towards something more positive. So walking away from drama, no drama this week. Uh, so it could be the ending of that drama since it lands on the death card, closing out some sort of. Uh, you know, situations that were um, possibly not to your liking when it comes to dealing with other people. And I seriously gear that towards the holiday. A lot of people, well, you know, we look forward towards these holidays, but it stresses people out for, you know, whatever reasons. And then, you know, a lot of people don't do well. Um, and that's, you know, stressing yourself out, preparing for you know, company, if you have uh, invited company over or if you were traveling to go see family members or friends, that's a lot of stress. So anyway, this is a no drama week for Gemini. Moving on, we have the Hermit. In some uh, instances, some Geminis may just go into uh, Hermit mode here this week, you know, just pulling yourself away from, you know, uh, others. It just, you know, not necessarily, I don't like to use the word isolation, just being by yourself, wanting to be by yourself. The lantern that the hermit holds is always the light at the end of the tunnel. If you guys have to withdraw a little bit, it could be just in the form of meditation, catching up reading a book, or if you have to do some deep soul searching or soul searching of any kind, then, you know, you'll, you know, do what's necessary, come up with, you know, any answers that you need and come out with a clear perspective moving forward. All right. So this is what I have for you this week, Gemini. Not too bad. Always remember, it's just me. Uh, giving you my best impression. Always take what's going to work for you. Leave the rest alone. However, I would appreciate it if you like the video, share the video, uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You guys have a wonderful week ahead. Always come back to get more of these messages from me, Gemini, and I will talk to you soon. Ciao.